Welcome to the Get Fit Guys, quick and dirty tips to slim down and shape up. My name is Ben Greenfield, and I'm the Get Fit Guy. Just yesterday, cold weather forced me to put on a coat for the first time in a while. And as temperatures begin to dip, cold and flu season will set in. As a matter of fact, listener Eric recently asked, I've just come down with an obnoxious sore throat accompanied with a lot of aches and chills. One thing I'm wondering is how should I exercise when I'm sick? I obviously don't want to go jogging in the cold and exacerbate symptoms and make it harder to recover. I don't know how much lifting weights slows the recovery process. Lying in bed and eating a lot and getting fat is probably not the best approach while sick. And advice on this question definitely would depend on how severe the illness is. But are there some general guidelines you can give on this question? Well, in this episode, Eric, and all the rest of you listening in, you'll find out if you can exercise when you're sick and what kind of workouts to do if you have a cold or flu. Regular physical activity actually strengthens your immune system. Studies have shown that recreational exercisers report fewer colds when they're running regularly, and moderate exercise has been associated with a stronger immune system response and an increase in the production of macrophages, which are the cells that attack bacteria. When you exercise, you improve blood flow and movement of your immune system's lymphatic fluid, and your immune cells can circulate through your body more quickly, which means they're able to kill bacteria and viruses more efficiently. The more consistently you exercise, the more immune system enhancement you can get. For example, one study has shown that people who walk at a very brisk pace for 40 minutes a day report half as many sick days as those who don't exercise. But can exercise make you sick? Well, You can certainly overdo it. For example, nearly every time I finish an Ironman triathlon, I get sick five to seven days later. And research has shown that as few as 90 minutes of high-intensity endurance exercise can make you more susceptible to illness for up to three days after the intense exercise session. The reason for this is a release of certain hormones that can cause a temporary decrease in the proper function of your immune system. When you perform a hard exercise session, you significantly increase the release of cortisol and adrenaline, which are your body's fight-and-flight stress hormones. This can raise blood pressure and cholesterol levels and simultaneously suppress your immune system. As you probably guessed, if you're already sick, high-intensity exercise such as heavy weightlifting or very long exercise such as marathon or Ironman training has been shown to weaken the immune system during a cold or respiratory infection. But although high-intensity exercise can make you more sick if you are already sick, moderate levels of physical activity while you are sick are actually okay. One study at Ball State University actually injected volunteer students with cold germs, then tracked them for 10 days, during which time each participant logged their exercise sessions. In the exercise group that performed light aerobic exercise for 40 minutes each day, there was no significant difference in cold symptom severity or duration. So while the exercising group didn't get better any faster, they also didn't get any more sick by exercising each day. But before you rush off to the gym to sniffle away on the treadmill, please remember that exercising in public places while sick may expose all the rest of us to any contagious illness you may have. And it might be a better idea to simply go on a brisk walk outdoors or do some calisthenics in your living room. We'll all thank you later. When should you not exercise? Well, it's important to remember that exercising with a cold is much different than exercising with a fever or a flu, which can not only make you more miserable, but potentially make you more sick, since these conditions require nearly all the strength of your immune system and can be aggravated by dehydration or muscle fatigue that occurs during exercise. And this is why nearly every physician will tell you it is okay to exercise if your symptoms are above the neck, such as sore throat, nasal congestion, sneezing, or teary eyes. But if your symptoms are below the neck, such as coughing, body aches, fever, and fatigue, you should give your body a chance for some much-needed rest and recovery. The treadmill and weight room will always be there as soon as you're feeling better. If you have more questions about exercising when you're sick, then share them at the Get Fit Guy Facebook page over at facebook.com slash getfitguy. And until next time, what are you waiting for? Go get fit. Get fit.